So you guys wanna get started drop shipping, but you do not know which method is right for you on which platform, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you guys and help you out, okay? So that way you don't waste all your damn money, potentially get suspended and lose more money, or just generally have a terrible, terrible time in the e-commerce game. What's up guys, it's Roughneck Actual, and you have reached the Roughnecks Ecom channel. If you wanna learn how to make money online or offline, then you need to be right here. I'm a seven-figure Amazon seller. I'm also an honorably discharged Air Force veteran. Graduated from Penn State and started a career as a software engineer and leveraged that to build my businesses. If you guys have any questions on how to make money, you're gonna find all your answers right here, so stay tuned. Yo, welcome back to the Roughnecks Ecom channel. If you guys are new here, I'm your host, Roughneck Action. And over here, we talk all about how to make money online, offline, and everywhere in between, baby. If that sounds good to you, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead, smash it, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so you can get updated on all the latest and greatest. And then, check out the links below in the description. Hit me up on social media if you guys have questions, all right? So for all you regulars, yo, you know what time it is, man. It's time to go ahead, get right into it. So you guys are interested in e-commerce. You guys are interested in making some money without getting off your asses on the couch. You guys wanna make that moolah, baby. Mm, that squala. But you're not sure how to go about doing it. You know you don't wanna do affiliate marketing. You know you don't wanna do that network marketing. Ugh. And you guys know that Amazon FBA is cost prohibitive to start off. So what is it that you're gonna do? You're like, you know what? I'm gonna start drop shipping. But you don't know which platform to start drop shipping on because there's so many people telling you to do so many different things. Well, guess what? I have sold on the three major ones and not to mention Magento, but Shopify and Magento are kind of the same, but whatever. Amazon, eBay, and Shopify. So I am well versed and I can help you guys figure out which one is going to be right for for you. Now, this is not gonna be easy for a lot of people, and most people don't wanna hear this, but ah, it's gonna suck, all right? You know, so just please don't let this throw you off your e-commerce journey. Now, so for the absolute beginner, my personal recommendation is eBay, okay? And a lot of you are like, but you're the Amazon guy. You sell on Shopify. Oh, why would you tell me to get on eBay? Oh, I don't want to. Just hear me out, okay? eBay drop shipping is the easiest way for a beginner to get started. You're, yes, I'm not necessarily the eBay guy, but if you're brand new and you don't know jack about selling online, eBay is a bit more forgiving when it comes to making mistakes, okay? Plus it's a cash flow business. You're using PayPal as your payment processor more often than not, and guess what? When you have a good PayPal account, you will be getting paid out every single day, so you're not gonna have to float orders or any of that stuff, okay? And people are going to eBay to buy items that they're already familiar with. Retail arbitrage dropshipping on eBay is like a gold mine, okay? You don't have to have a lot of skill to make a little bit of money. Now to make a lot of money, you gotta have a lot of skill. Okay, but outside of that, ah, you're gonna be pretty good. You can make that money very quickly. Now, there are certain things to be mindful of with eBay, um, like Veros, as they call them. Uh, that's, you know, if you're selling items that, uh, you know, kind of kind of gated, you know, like let's say you're trying to sell AirPods and all that, nah, you're probably not gonna be able to get away with that. And PayPal gel is a real thing, all right? So when you start making a lot of money on uh, on eBay and PayPal sees this, they're gonna start holding funds. Now that could range from anywhere between seven days to 30 days, hopefully not 30 days, but you're gonna have to float those orders that you get until the money is released. But once that happens, you're typically gonna be free to go. And like I said, it's a cash flow business, cash in, cash out. It's gonna be good to get a little bit of capital to start getting into other things, you know, potentially moving into like a private label brand, all right? Now, we got that out the way. Then there's Amazon, right? And you're like, oh, but all these these guys, these, these 18 year old kids are saying get on Shopify. They're saying they're making millions of dollars on Shopify. I'm gonna tell you guys why that's a lie, number one. But when we get to Shopify, cause these little <laughs> are sitting in their mama's house, like they're not making a million dollars on Shopify. Like they're sitting at home in their mama's house. Like let that be known right there. If you're making that kind of money, your ass ain't living at home with your mom, okay? So with Amazon, Amazon, there's a lot of different selling methods. There's the method that I pioneered. If you look up private label drop shipping on Amazon, this mug right here is gonna pop up for you. Um, and then there's you know retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, really. Retail arbitrage would be the correct term uh, when you go in, grab some items, sell them on Amazon. But online arbitrage is typically drop shipping from Walmart, Target, Kmart, stuff like that. And then you have wholesale drop shipping. And with Amazon, you're gonna have to float those orders for two weeks. Now, unless you use a service like Payability, which pays you out every single day, but we won't even get into that because there's a lot to learn with, with those things. Now, 
okay? Amazon has all the natural traffic that you're ever gonna need to make money. The biggest problem is going to be, like I said, the payments, okay? You're gonna have to have a little bit of money to float those, those sales for at least two weeks, all right? So Amazon pays out every two weeks, but there's a catch with that as well. Amazon will calculate your payment, uh, you know, schedule, not just based on their two week policy, but the handling, shipping time, and this window of, of time where Amazon says the item is marked complete, you know, that, that order is marked complete. That's your handling time, shipping time, and then typically seven days after the latest shipping date is when they'll say, all right, this item is marked complete, and then they will move that, that money into your available balance to be paid out. So you could be waiting even longer than two weeks for orders that were made, um, you know, like, shit, like, two, three weeks ago. All right, so let's, we'll break all that down in another video, but just know you're gonna have to float some orders for a little bit. Now, with having so much traffic and over 50% of online e-commerce sales in the US going through Amazon, you know you're gonna make money, all right? It's almost impossible not to make money on Amazon. You know, it's it's amazing, but it can be cost prohibitive depending on the method that you, you use. I'm um, starting off with private label drop shipping. You really only need around 500 bucks, you know, maybe a thousand if you're gonna be buying a lot of UPCs and things of that nature with retail, uh, well, online, arbitrage sorry uh, roughly three to five thousand dollars on a credit card and it scales exponentially and right now Amazon is booming so you're probably gonna need a whole lot more than that as the months progress you're gonna be needing like 20 30k on a credit card to be honest with you once you start really scaling and then with wholesale uh, drop shipping roughly the same thing but you're gonna need to get wholesale contracts and things like that and letters of authorization and that can be kind of a pain and you have to have a legitimate business you're not just gonna walk in and think that you're gonna get all these wholesale contracts you're gonna need an LLC sometimes you're gonna need a website and other times you're gonna have to place a buy-in of several thousand dollars like we had to do with um with Cobb all right we you know if you guys don't know Cobb uh, is a real big um, player in the motorsports industry all right and then last but not least we have Shopify now Shopify is portrayed as like the beginner's land and anyone can get into it and really anyone can but not everyone is going to do really well with it mainly because it is super cost prohibitive for a beginner and you have to have a ton of different skills you know you have to be a master of marketing you have to know Facebook ads you have have to know how to retarget customers you need to know how to run autoresponders all these different things unless you have a big enough budget to pay people to do all these things for you and you're not just going to get in there and throw up some products from aliexpress and think that you're going to make a ton of money does it happen every now and then yes about one out of a hundred times to be honest with you the one percent yeah they're making a ton of money with it but on average shopify is for brand building which means you're going to need to have a brand presence where you're going to have to have a brand presence on social media okay we have a shopify site with speed circuit you guys that know go to speedcircuit.net our new Shopify site, the new design is up and it is fantastic. But the Speed Circuit brand has been around for over a decade, okay? People buy from us because they know us. Typically, people aren't gonna just buy from a random website if they don't have any type of history with you or feel some form of connection. It takes a while to build that. And on top of that, you're gonna be spending a ton of money to get that traffic initially, usually through Facebook ads or Google ads. If you don't have money, that is not the way to go. Now, yes, they have you know Shopify payments and that is done through Stripe and typically you'll get paid out roughly every you know the the day after the sale so if you make sales today you'll get paid out the next day unless people are using PayPal and then of course you'll be getting paid out every day if your PayPal account is in good standing but PayPal gel is also a real thing if you're doing a lot in um, a lot of revenue so you got to be mindful on that as well still it is very very difficult for a beginner to get involved in because you have to know a lot in order to make money with Shopify okay unless you have a brand if you have a brand it's a little bit easier and that's what you should be focused on anyway you should be focused on building a brand and therefore it's going to take the longest amount of time to make any money okay where ebay and amazon you can make money same day literally throw some listings up poof you're making money you're making thousands of dollars a day shopify takes a lot more finesse a whole lot more you're not just going to step into the into the ring what i leave because you think you can box right you're like damn man i gotta run ads i gotta figure all these things out and it can be very very tiresome and you're going to get frustrated and most people are going to quit there's a reason over 90 something percent of shopify stores close up within the first 90 90 days okay not as easy as people think it is not all that easy okay so kind of have to figure out what you want do you want ca a cash flow business that's very easy to get into eBay do you want something that's kind of a little you know another cash flow business but a little bit more long-standing Amazon if you want to build your own brand and you want to have control of the traffic sources and the customer because it's your website you go with Shopify but remember you got to have some money and if you don't have money you're gonna be screwed you have a very difficult time getting anyone to go to your website don't believe me too bad so that being said uh, hopefully you found this informative hope it's gonna help you out and uh, be careful when getting to the e-commerce game now make sure you guys smash a 
like button if you haven't done so. And if you haven't subscribed, come on, man, hook me up, subscribe. And click the little notification bell. Make sure you check out the links below in the description. Follow me on social media because I'm dropping all types of tips all day on you, baby. And sometimes you guys won't like what I say. There's a lot of things on YouTube that I can't say that I see on social media, and it is. Yeah, I do. I kiss my mama with this mouth, too. Yeah, yep. So be safe, be smart. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.